Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically generate active captions from AI-based subtitles in DaVinci Resolve without the tedious manual copy and paste. With the latest update, you will have a much smoother editing experience using the new cache mode in the template. This allows you to adjust animation timing effortlessly, providing a fluid and enjoyable editing experience with zero delay playback. In addition, I added multi-line caption support to the templates, which is perfect for animating captions containing more than six words. Your creativity knows no bounds. So, let's get started with the first one and see how we can automatically generate hundreds of animated captions in less than a minute. Here is a sample video generated by AI that runs for two minutes. Today, we're going to discuss the art of making a great sunrise video. It's fascinating to witness AIS integrating into our lives and making waves everywhere. DaVinci Resolve is no exception. It introduces a suite of remarkable AI features designed to accelerate and enhance your editing skills. The one we will use today is to create subtitles directly from audio. Go to the timeline menu. Click create subtitles from audio. For the demo, we change the settings to a maximum of 20 characters per line and use double lines for each subtitle. Click create button to start. Give it a moment, the process should be done quickly. Once it's finished, a new track is added with Hello subtitles everyone. that How match the doing? spoken dialogue. Today, we're going to discuss the art of making a great sunrise video. Sunrise videos are a beautiful way to capture the magic of a new day. And with a little bit of practice... This is great. We can go to the inspector and adjust styles by caption or by track. But with the subtitle track, we cannot create animated captions, like these created using Essential Active Caption templates. Today I will show you a new version of the Essential Active Caption template. In the past, to convert these subtitles to active captions, we would add the caption template to the timeline, extend the clip to match the subtitle. Use the Blade tool to split the caption clip, Copy the text from each subtitle and paste into the caption clip. This works, but it's really boring and time consuming. So I made a script to do these repetitive tasks to free up ourselves for more interesting and creative work. Here is how it works. Let's delete this track to start from the beginning. Add an active caption v2 template to the timeline. We can change the style and animation effects because this will be used as the template for all captions we are going to generate. Just for demo purposes, let's change the font to this, which is an all cap font. And enable the write on animation. Drag the caption clip to the current folder in the media pool. We can now delete this clip or the track completely. Open the workspace menu. Go to scripts and click essential active caption copy subtitles. A dialog window opens. Before we move on, confirm the subtitle track index. It's set to one by default, which is correct for this timeline. Click OK to continue. A new video track is added and caption clips are automatically created on the track, matching the subtitle clips. In no time, we have all the active captions created with title text copied over. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today, we're going to discuss the art of making a great sunrise video. And we can now start working on animation styles and timings, like we explained in previous videos. If the subtitle track is no longer needed, we can either delete the track or disable it. Sometimes, 
You might just want to turn a few subtitles into active captions instead of the whole track. In this case, we can select the ones we want to transform, or drag them up to create a new subtitle track. Run the script from the workspace menu. Change the subtitle to track 2. Press OK to run the copy script. We now have another track with captions of only those selected subtitles. We can disable the previous caption track to check the result. You'll also want a good camera lens, with a wide angle lens being the most popular choice for sunrise videos. To get the active caption and script work together, you will need to download the essential active caption package with the link in the description below and unzip the file. Double click the DRFX package to install the new version of the caption template. If you have a previous copy installed, you will see a message asking for confirmation to overwrite the existing one. To make the copy script available in the workspace scripts menu, copy the Lua script file into the script utility folder as shown on the screen. Once you complete these steps, you should be able to generate active captions from the subtitle track as we showed earlier. If you try to run the script without the right timeline and missing the template clip in the media pool, error messages will pop up and stop the process. For example, when there is no timeline open, you will see this error. If the timeline doesn't have a subtitle track, it will also throw an error. In order for this to run, the current folder in the media pool must have an active caption template, otherwise a message will pop up and end the process. OK. This is how we use the copy subtitle script to automatically create active captions. And next, as mentioned in the beginning, we will talk about the changes made in this latest update. Let's use this caption as an example. The first improvement is the caption display. Instead of showing all words in one line, it now shows the text the same way as they are entered in the input field. This text input has two lines, and they are also shown in two lines in the viewer. If we change to three lines and reset the display, the caption is now shown three lines in the viewer according to the text input and styles. We can turn off the animation as we focus on the caption style. Because we can display multi-line caption, the H anchor options is now available for adjusting horizontal alignments. This animation level option is used to control how we split the text into animation units. By default, it's set to line, which means the animation will run by lines, and each caption can have up to six lines of text, because the template allows a maximum of six animation units. When this is set to word, the animation will be applied to words, each word becomes a separate unit. In this case, the caption will only show six words at most, and each word is now in different colors. These new options open up incredible flexibility, allowing you to make your own unique caption styles with ease. The next change is the new cache mode. As the name implies, it caches the caption with current settings to enhance performance. Let's turn off the render cache and play again. Of making a great sunrise. It runs at about 9 frames per second, which is pretty laggy. Sunrise. Trying to adjust the timing for animations at such a slow speed can be quite frustrating. After completing the configuration of font, position, and display styles, we can then enter the cache mode. In this mode, we can only adjust timing with the write-on effect. Now if we play the clip, it runs at the full speed, 30 video. frames per second, which should provide a much smoother experience when adjusting the timings. Video. 
Now we can enable the write on option and fine tune the timing to sync the words with the audio. Play the clip. Animation for the third word A video. is playing a bit long, which delays the following words. Great. Great. It actually ends here. Select the third word, click end animation. The time is automatically set to 5. Great sunrise video. Of making a great sunrise video. Perfect. The audio and the words display are now in sync. Making timing adjustments in the cache mode feels more confident and easier, thanks to almost zero delay when changing the values. If we only need the write on animation, we can leave the caption in cache mode. But if we wish to use other effects, we can exit the cache mode and choose the desired ones as needed. For example, instead of write on, we want to use the background highlight effect. Of making a great sunrise video. When playing the clip, it's very slow, just the same as we saw earlier. But since we have set the caption style and timing, we can leave it to auto render cache and proceed to the next caption clip. Of making a great sunrise video. Sunrise of making a great sunrise video. Of making a great sunrise video. If you find the text is too long for one caption, you can simply split the caption and change the text and style as needed. Another change is for the write-on effect, there are two new options added. The first option is character write-on. When this is checked, it will display the individual letters one by one. The others are ease-in and ease-out options, they define the animation curves of the write-on effect. Today, we're going to dis Today, we're going to dis Because the animation completes in 10 frames and also has the zoom-in effect, it is hard to see the letter write-on with default settings. If we set the start size to 1 and change ease out to none, we will see this write-on effect easily. Today, we're going to discuss the art of making a Today, we're going to dis Today, we're going all right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and will find the template useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today, we're going to discuss the art of making a great sunrise video. Sunrise videos are a beautiful way to capture the magic of a new day. And with a little bit of practice and the right equipment, you can create something that will leave your audience in awe.